Good evening, everyone. I'm going to talk about the woman empowerment and health through Bhaktamar Stotra. United Nations has 17 sustainable development goals, goals 1 to 17. And in this slide, I'm going to talk about mainly goals 3, 4, 5, 6, and 17. Goal number three, ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. Goal number four, ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Number five, achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls. Number six, ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitization for all. Number 17, Strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the global partnership for sustainable development. Genesis of Bhaktambar, understanding the Bhaktambar, 48 shlokas and their meaning, pronunciation of shlokas, specific shlokas for treatment of cancer, process of chanting the shlokas, process of meditating on the shlokas, prerequisite of the process, nuances of how frequencies work on cellular and DNA levels to heal disorders, and the results with Bhaktambar. Power of Bhaktambar Stotra. Bhaktambar is a very powerful tool of Jainism. It has solutions to all problems faced by human beings, if chanted methodically and with full belief. The word mantra means tool of the mind, or the language of human spirituality when repeated over a period of time cause a shift in your consciousness. As a result of this, you attract different results in your life, whether that's in terms of health, relationships, or anything else. Your life is going to improve in all aspects. Ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. So right now, I'm going to play shlok number 45 so you will know how you feel the vibration. Okay, here you go. Shlok number 45. So that was number 45. You all must have felt the vibrations that it has created. Bhaktama Stotra has 48 verses. When chanted with faith and devotion, it cures all diseases including cancer, eye disease, spinal cord issues, stomach, kidney disease, headaches, etc. Uh, goal number four, ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. So the study was done and the students were enrolled through Swardhara and Pranayam for 21 days. So hypothesis, chanting six sloka of Bhaktambar will improve the IQ of the students. Swardhara Pranayam will improve the academic performance and emotional capacity of the students. Procedure. 37 students of grade 7 of modern school Nagpur were exposed of chanting Bhaktama Shlokas and Swardhara for 21 days. They were also chanting Riddhi Mantra, 
नमो नाणस्त ओम ह्रीम अर हम नम महाप्रध्वनि अनुम विलोम एंड दे वेर टेकिंग डीप ब्रेथ द डीप स्वास फ्रैक्शर एंड दिस वेर फॉलो ट्वेंटी वन डेज रेग्युलरली विथ द मोटिवेशनल स्टोरीज द रिजल्ट ऑफ द बैलेंसिंग प्राण एनर्जी इन किड्स सो द फिजिकल हेल्थ वॉज इम्प्रूव्ड द इमोशनल डेवलपमेंट the recitation and enchantment of the bhaktamar stotras were done in sanskrit only so when they measured the ro score pre test and post test they found the iq the it was up from 76.86 to 93.13 so these are some pictures of the cultural fair test This is a picture of Manju Jain who was given the outstanding educational award. She is the one who did 26 PhDs in Bhaktamar Stotras. Goal number 5, achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls. So the study was done the in number 28, 34, number 9 and 26 slokas. one lady who could conceive the first baby at age of 48 years the second one is about chanchal who was unable to conceive the child and he de uh, she delivered twins and the third the lisa from geneva delivered a baby boy by chanting 26 shloka and she was uh, chanting this continuously for 6 hours for painless delivery the homeopathic doctor who was advised by gynecologist to get abortion when the fetus was 5 month old but then 34th shloka was chanted for 4 months and very healthy baby boy was born and there were some uh, other side effects her in laws were invited her to mumbai and her husband got a job in singapore A mother of a pregnant daughter in Durg chanted 34 shloka and her daughter whose placenta was very low delivered baby boy smoothly and the miscarriage was prevented Sandeep Sikhawat a Punjabi girl from Chandigarh who was um, chanting 26 shloka and he she delivered a baby boy, a baby girl So by Bhaktamar Stotra woman empowerment can be achieved by increasing sense of self-worth ability to determine their own choices and raising the awareness of higher consciousness So how uh, Bhaktamar helps uh, like for number 19 it helps to seek job get promotion And number 10 for developing teamwork 48 for getting abundance and gaining money by number 12 the woman's viewpoint can be accepted and number 20 which help which uh, helps them to conceive a, a boy and number 9 for wishful child 34 for protection of fetus during the pregnancy so Bhaktamar Stotra when chanted it opens up all the bl blockages in electromagnetic field of the human body and it ri it rises the infinite potential of individual women so number goal number 6 is ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitization for all so this is uh, uh, yantra number 4 So shlok number 11 it turns salty water to sweet water and shlok number 4 it removes the phobia of water and dangerous animals so in combination these two helps to get more drinkable water number 17 strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the global partnership so shlok 38 to 47 overall helps for this These are some pictures that uh, Dr. Manju Jain is a global peace ambassador done 26 PhDs thank you